was Lady Evelyn's. That's right. Simon Scum. Oh, more scum? Please, sir, Arthur. You stole it. Who, oh, me? Come on, Mrs. Woodrin. I'm sorry, but it's my duty. Your kerchief, mistress. Charming perfume. Lilac. Ah. Springtime in Sussex. Your servant, madam. Come. I'll come back to you two later. Keep guard outside. <laughs> Sophie Wittering. Sophie Wittering. Come along here. Who are you pushing? They are to his worship. Who? His worship. Oh. Good afternoon. Sorry, <laughs> Diane. You, Sophie Wittering, are charged with seeing four dozen handkerchiefs, one alarm clock, two silver mounted hairbrushes, one lady's knickers and one rubber belt and two hot water bottles, the property of Harris's stores. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Oh, me? Guilty? Of course not. It's all a ridiculous mistake. Have you a solicitor representing you? No, I don't know any. And do you wish for legal aid? Well, I think I ought to have all the help I can, don't you? <laughs> Well, in that case, you have the right to choose any of the legal gentlemen in court to defend you. Well, anyone I like. Right. Oh, thank you. Why should... Well, I think I'll take that long one. Sir Richard, the prisoner chooses you to defend her. What? I read it. What is the charge against the young lady? The shoplifting. If you care to consult with your client... No, I don't think that'll be necessary. Uh, what is your name? Sophie Wittering. What's yours? Richard Carstairs. I had to do. Uh, how do you do? Uh, you, uh, you didn't do this, did you? I did not. It's all that yeah, reason. Quite, He's quite, got a general... Uh, well, uh, quite ready to proceed, your worship. <clears throat> At 6.48 p.m. on the evening of the 30th of November inst, I was proceeding in an easterly direction along Oxford Street, hoping to pick up some hooks. Uh, hooks, officer? Precisely, Sir Richard. Hooks or dips? I rather gather that the constable is referring to small thieves or pickpockets, Sir Richard. Or shoplifters, Your Worship. Oh, I see. Uh... Passing the main entrance of Heritage's stores, my attention was attracted by this young woman. What was she doing? Yes, go on, you're telling me, deputy old man. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well um, as a matter of fact, she... Yes, he was looking at my legs. That's what he was doing. <laughs> I see. <coughs> when you bought these articles, did they or did they not give you credit slips with them? Yes. And I suppose you threw them away? Well, I... Yes, I thought you did. Well, I did. What? I saved them. You did? Yes. And where are they? They might be in my desk or in the library or... Was it the village room? I really forgot. Uh, the, uh, the production of these credit slips or bills is so vital to my client's case that... I must ask for an adjournment. I don't think I can refuse that, Sir Richard. And further, that she be allowed to accompany this officer to her home in order to obtain the documents. That will be the order of the court. Thank you, sir. Here. Have I better go with him? Yes. If I must, I must. Well, I don't like it any more than you do. Wait there, I've got to write up my notes. Oh, Sir Richard. Yes? I'd like to thank you. That's all right, Sophie. But you better find those bills, otherwise something will happen. Yes, something will happen. Oh, you did me a good turn. I'd like to do you one. Yes? 
You know that missing witness in your last case? Yes. Well, what's his name? George Francis Howard? Yes. Well, he's in London. He arrived last night. How do you know? I found his wallet in Victoria Station. Where? Well, in his pocket. That's great of you, Sophie. That's all right. Thank you. I won't say anything about this. And good luck with the constable. Thank you. Now, come along, my girl. You know what my friend would say if they could see me with you. The crime doesn't pay. Eh? Oh. Oh, I've dropped my things. Well, aren't you going to pick them up for me? <laughs> no, good constable. I can't face it. I must have a taxi. Oh. And who's going to pay for it? Well, that needn't worry you. All right. In that case... Taxi. After that young woman. Come here, my young man. Now then. Now look here. There's no good thing because you're a girl, I'm going to treat you any different from any other criminal. Now get it there, William. What you've been doing is in direct contravention of the regulation. I can't think why a high class young woman like you should resort to petty thieving. You keep your rude remarks for your low class police station. Oh, no offense. But don't be offensive. And don't you forget you're riding about in my taxi. How do you mean? Well, you're not paying for it, are you? Here. What's all this? Is it funny, Mr. Chief? Oh, we're here. What are you? Yes. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Your taxi, you said. Oh, yes. So I did. Yes. Mine. Found, eh? Right. <coughs> So this is where you live? Yes, nice little place, isn't it? I've got it. Wrong key. What? The mate from the police station must have given the deck the wrong one. Oh, did she? Well, we'll soon see about that. You're coming now. You stop there. You've been in the old dock. You've been in the old Good evening, madam. Oh, good evening. We've been expecting you for some time, madam. What? Have you? Yes, I... I am a little late. Uh, is that stupid fellow? Well, won't you come inside, madam? Oh, thank you. Yeah, You'll yeah. have to wait outside. Uh, yes, Constable. Uh, you wait there. I'll have the paper sent down to you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pretty little thing, isn't it? <laughs> Nice. Oh, I'm afraid it's that policeman again. I'll endeavour to get rid of him. I'll be very glad if you would. Pardon me, but what was the trouble between you and the constable? The trouble? Oh, a case of mistaken identity. Took me for a shoplifter. I see. Then perhaps, madam, you would like to wait in the other if room. I will, if you don't mind.
George Howard. Set off with a caution and give him five pounds for assisting the police. And why not? I'd have put you away for three months. Oh, Mr. Cheetle, when you haven't let me out of his sight for two days. Now, look here, young woman. I've come to hate you. And as for letting you out of his sight, I'll be. All right, Mr. Cheetle. I shan't bother about you anymore. Hmm. Very good of you, I'm sure. Yes. And you can remain a mere constable for the rest of your silly life. What's that? You're an inspector. Don't make me laugh. You'd never been inspector if you'd have to be a hundred. Oh, won't I? No, not without me, that is. Huh? Not without me to look after you and do all your thinking for you. What are you talking about? Dixie! Have you gone, Dippy? Yes. 